So that means we need to go to this part, lah, tutorial 2.5. So I will go through uh, the tutorial. Uh, objective should be fast a bit lah, because I hopefully you do already. If you not understand that, you just text me. Okay, you cannot text. Uh, you cannot type inside there. That means you on the mic, just tell me. Yeah? So from here, we start for number one. Okay, number one, when you see the trolley P and also trolley Q, okay, they put the plastic in. Sure, they will stick together one. Okay, after collision, sure, we stick. So this one, sure, is an inelastic. Okay, inelastic. So they ask you which one statement is true. So the collision is an elastic. So this one's wrong. Lah. The both trolley do not undergo the change of momentum. So they will... The change mean uh, they say total. They say both trolley only. Okay, both trolley they will change the momentum, but you need to mention total momentum. Okay, you just say to uh, both trolley do not change. This one is wrong. They're not so complicated. So if you want to mention about the principle, you must say uh, total momentum before collision and also after collision is same. Ah, uh, baru we call principle. If they say both trolley do not undergo changes, suppose got changes what? Before and after sure got changes. I say the personal trolley. Eh? If the trolley P when starting, then after that they stick the trolley Q, they move together, the velocity sure changes. So we cannot say both is no changes. Eh? Okay, B also wrong. Okay, so you're going to see the C. Total momentum before. And after collision is the same. Ah. So this one is talking about principle. So this one sure is correct one. We're going to check the last one. Total kinetic before and after is conserved. No. Kinetic cannot conserve when they stick together. If you say elastic, yes. Okay. So the answer is a C. That's a true. Okay. Number two is calculations. Okay. Now they show about the P and Q. Okay. Moving V. Moving to V, opposite direction. Eh? Okay, which one is correct? Now we're going to check. The momentum of the P before the collision is equal momentum Q. Cannot. P and Q cannot equal one. Because you see the velocity also different. How come the momentum is the same? Okay, B, total momentum before collision is equal. This one is the principle. Lah. We mark this one first. Kinetic of the energy of the ball P. Before the collision equal kinetic energy ball Q. So that means they're separate to count. They say before and also, sorry, uh, before and also after. They never say total. They only say P and also Q. So you see the velocity already different. How come they become the same? So that means kinetic energy personal is not the same. Uh. So C also out. Total kinetic energy before collisions is not equal. Suppose it's equal because this one is a elastic collisions. Okay, there's an elastic because the question already mentioned elastic collision. So from here, we only say B is correct. Okay, number three. Number three, suppose it's an explosion. Okay, when starting the flock and also the leaf, no momentum. Zero momentum because they stay together. So when starting to tell you the flock is a 200 gram. Uh, after that, on the leaf, leaf is a 50 gram. Okay, on the surface of the pool, now the show about the flock slipping away from the leaf. Five. Okay, so that means the leaf later, they will recoil, go behind. So from here, we can using the formula. Zero equal M1, V1 plus M2, V2. Suppose later your answer got 1 is a negative. Lah. Okay. So after I do the calculation, I get it. 200 is for the flock. Then 5. Okay. Then I need to plus 50 gram for the leaf. Then the V2. So V2 suppose is uh, opposite directions. Okay. So from here, we no need to change uh, because both also gram. Both sides also gram. So we no need to convert. We also using gram. Lah. Then finally, we find the answer from here. Okay, recoil. Because they're talking about recoil, so we can ignore the negative. So the answer is 20 ms, negative 1. Okay, number 4. Later until number 5, I will ask you 
which question you not understand that I repeat to explain. Huh? Okay, now you see the two ball. This one is an elastic collision. Okay, you can see before and after the separate, but all in same direction. Huh? So we can say the first one, 3 times 5, 15, plus 1, equal, okay, this one 3V. Okay, we do know how many, then this has a 4. So you need to find the V. So from here, I get the answer is a C. Okay, number 5, plus C. So you can see finally, sure stick together. Because they say both trolley move together. Direction same like the original. Okay, so from here, we need to write the info first. Okay, they show every mass 1 kg. So from here, we can say this one is 1 times 6. La, plus, okay, 1 times 4 equal. Okay, this one stick together, so the mass becomes 2 kg. Okay, V, we don't know. So 10 over 2, so I get 5. Okay, 1 until 5. Okay, you got any question you want to ask? Then I need to repeat to explain for you more detail. Okay, I will ask about... Chia Ying, okay or not? Okay, teacher. Okay, uh, Brenda? Brenda, understand? Okay, uh, Ross? Ross Warren? Okay, okay, so we continue. Question 6 already. Okay, we go to six. Okay, six you can see here. Uh, a boy, a man that stand on the uh, on the boat. After that, they go to jump. So that means before they jump, suppose the momentum is a zero. So we can say this one is an explosion. Okay, opposite direction. Uh, so the boy, the man that will jump to right hand side. So the boat later they will move to left hand side. So from here, you need to calculate the velocity of the boat. Okay, so you calculate the velocity of the boat. You can see the answer here is no negative, is it? So that means they assume the man direction is a negative. Then they take the boat direction is a positive. So that's why we cannot create negative. So from here, we just show like this. Lah. M1, V1 equal M2, negative V2. Ah. Okay, we go to assume one part already is a negative. Okay, so from here, I just put the boat. The boat is uh, 25 kg. Okay, V1, I don't know. Okay, after that, this part, I find it M2. M2 is for the... Okay, before that, we're using the formula, is it? We put the zero in front. I go to show when I put the zero in front. Okay, before that, we put like this. M1, V1 plus M2, V2. So later you get the answer is a negative, is it? Okay, so we straightforward. If I'm using this one formula, uh, zero. Okay, M1, I take that is a boat. Okay, boat is a 25. Okay, V1. So I get it positive. I take the boat direction is a positive. Then I go to plus. Then after that is a man, 50 kg. Okay, this one I straightforward put negative four. Okay, I assume the man go to right side is a negative. So from this one situation, later you cannot get negative one because your V1 sure positive because this side you move. So after that, I get 25 V1 equal 200 already because this side, I move to zero this part. So later V1, I get positive answer. Okay, so this one is you ignore to get negative. So you assume one part. Okay, if your answer is totally do one negative, we can using this formula. So that means you already put another side. Okay, you put another side means you already assume that one is a negative part. So I just assume V1, you move another side already. So I straightforward to put in 25 V1. Then after another side is a 50, then 4. From this part, I can get positive answer already. Okay, because I assume another V1 go another side. So that's why M1 plus V1, then equal M2 plus V2. That means the V1 already, uh, V2 already including the negative. 
So I move to another side. So that's why I don't have negative ready. Understand or not? If not, the formula support like this. So I move one go to another part. So if I want move go another part, so suppose become like this. Negative M two V two. Ah, suppose like this one. The formula. Then after that, my V two negative is it? Negative negative become positive. So finally, my answer V one is a positive. So depend for you which one you want to use. Normally lah, we do want the answer got negative one. Okay, because got negative, you need to explain. If for structure question lah. Okay, if for the objective question, you can see the answer here. No negative one. So if no negative one means they assume one part is a positive, the final answer part is a positive answer. So you go to assume by yourself. So suppose this one should be the formula we go to use. If I never put the negative here, that means the V two later I need to put the negative, then become positive. You can see this one negative, and this one need to put the negative. Uh, the boat is a, uh, then you put four or five, uh, something like this. You need to put negative, negative, become positive. Okay, it's simple one. You do this one, the final answer got negative. Lo. If the question says recoin, then you ignore the negative. That's all. So this one negative is because opposite direction, not because of slowdown. No. Okay, so you must clear for this one question. Got many students that misunderstand why got negative sometimes with no negative because of only the formula they want to move. So final answer, I get it. That's a eight. Okay, the formula still the same. Ah, huh? explosions. Thank you.